briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1974, an intricate tax dispute landed attorney Victor Wolder and the estate of his former client Marguerite Boyce on the docket of the United States Court of Appeals for the Second Circuit. The central argument, whether a hefty sum received by Wolder following Boyce's death should be considered pay for services rendered or a bequest exempt from taxation. Decades prior to the dispute, Boyce and Wolder made an unconventional pact. In 1947, the duo agreed to a lifelong contractual arrangement, sealed with Boyce's promise to leave Wolder an impressive bequest in her will, a hefty package of stock. Over the years, that promise grew, ultimately blooming into a jam-packed portfolio of stock valued at $46,945.31 at the time of Boyce's death. And the icing on the cake, a generous dollop of cash Wolder received in November 1966. The heart of the contention was whether Wolder's windfall should fall under the taxation umbrella or merit a free pass as a gift. The court delved deep into the intent of the original pact, examining the specifics of the agreement and the nature of the transfer, even investigating the precise year the income was received, 1965 or 1966. Taking a dive into the legal framework, the court analyzed Section 1301 of the Int, Reverend, Code alongside Section 102, A, of the Int, Reverend Code of 1954, weighing the impact on the taxpayer's rights in 1965. The court also dissected the argument that the income was constructively received in 1965, which would have significantly influenced Volder's tax obligations. The ultimate verdict upheld the judgments from the Wolders and the Boyce estate, but surprisingly overturned the commissioner's cross-appeal, citing the need for further review. The court crucially identified that the delivery of stock and cash in 1965 was not a right Wolder could exercise. Furthermore, the arrangement to provide lifelong legal services failed to qualify for treatment under the tax code, an error the lower court committed in its initial ruling. Thus. The Wolder case cast a spotlight on the intricate labyrinth of tax law, an experience that would surely resonate as a wake-up call for anyone considering crafting unconventional payment arrangements in legal agreements. Those in similar shoes must tread lightly, for even a seemingly generous gift could become a leap into a taxing predicament. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.